Welcome traders, my name is Adam Harris and welcome to IC Markets Market Commentary. So first of all, let's get a broad look at the markets overall because there are a variety of potential opportunities this week. So let's start off here with the Euro dollar, which is now officially and clearly in an uptrend. We have the 50, 20 and 10 in a bullish formation. We've had price break up through resistance, come back, retest it, produced a bullish candle and produced, started to move ahead away from moving, head away from the moving averages, excuse me. So we do have some room to move as price potentially heads up towards 1075, at least for the majority of this week, we have time to do that. If we move across and have a look at sterling, just very quickly, you can see on the one hour, we've had a breakout this morning and we are coming into a little bit of potential resistance. But overall, again, we produced a pullback, bullish indecision candle and a nice bullish momentum candle. So you can see right now, similar to the Euro dollar, we can see the price is heading away from the moving averages. So we have a little bit of US dollar weakness there, but also cable strength and Euro strength. Let's move away from the currency pairs. So we have a look at gold. We can see that gold has pulled back to a relatively significant level, which is the 1940 level over here. We've produced a bit of a bullish candle. We are in a downtrend, however. So here's the thing. If gold is ultimately going to work its way back up to 2000, this is an area where it is potentially likely to find support and work its way up from there. So traders will be watching, obviously, to see if we start to break this downward, downward momentum and start to head back up above 1950 and 1960. Not sure why I am tripping over my own words this morning. Apologies for that. So that's really what gold is going to be under the microscope for this week. If we move across and have a look at crude oil, crude oil is in a very strong downtrend at the moment. It's coming back into the moving averages. We have the 50, the 20, and the 10 in a bearish formation. We've got a level of clear resistance here. And so what traders are going to be looking for this week potentially is a bearish candle formation and a continuation to the downside. We can see the MACD is trending lower, the RSI is trending lower, so everything about this is currently bearish. Then if we move across, these are the MVPs. We had a very strong finish on the Dow 30 last week on the US indices, actually, and on the global indices. We can see a very strong bullish candle. We can see the market is trying to push a little bit higher. When we look at it from a monthly perspective, we're still producing higher lows and the market is still attempting to maintain a bullish stance. And when we look at it from a daily perspective, we can see that we had a break and a pullback and a bullish candle and we're looking to continue from there. All right, so that's a bullish sentiment on the uh, Dow 30. If we look at the S&P 500, you can see here that we've had a similar bullish engulfing candle for the week. We're attempting to break the high of that candle and to continue our big upon there is the weekly candle. And here's actually Friday's daily candle, which was a nice bullish engulfing candle. So we've got price above that 50 period moving average. You can see how it broke above it, came back, retested it and bounced off. We can see the MACD is trending higher and the RSI is, is trending higher. So basically looking at this in isolation, it is very, very bullish. But the question is, will it be able to work its way up through these resistance levels? And also we need to see that across the board. Same thing again here, and I would mention, and I think this is noteworthy, this is now the US tech stock. You can see that we actually had a downtrend here of lower highs, lower lows. We've broken up through that downward trend line. So if I put a trend line in here, just so that you could see the downward sloping highs, we've actually broken up through that. That in itself makes this a bull flag. So that means we had a move up and a retracement in the form of a bull flag. We've broken up through that and now we're heading up towards these recent highs. Again, we've got the MACD trending higher. So we've got bullish signals there. If we move across and have a look at the footy, we're at the bottom of a range. We've produced some bullish candles here. We're batting with some resistance at the moment. But the potential for us within this range to go back up to the range is also a fair or rational possibility. If we look at the DAX, the Dow, you can see we pulled back here. We produced a bit of a bullish candle. On the weekly, we still have that downward sloping trend line. So we're not entirely free of it in the same way that we were with the tech stocks. But you can see here, we have also managed to break through that. So again, these are not things that are necessarily signs of a very weak or very bearish market. And these are things that cannot occur if the market truly is very weak. If we have a look at the ASX, you can see again, we're sitting in a major level of support and we've got a very bullish candle that's currently forming. If you look at it from a weekly perspective, again, we've got that sort of lower highs, lower lows. Let's see if we're breaking through that. We haven't managed to break through that yet. I'll have to adjust it a little bit just to show you that. So we haven't really broken through it yet, but you can see that it's attempting to do that. And certainly if it makes its way up to this 7,118 level, we might be doing that. 
All right, so nothing really too revealing there. Now, let's have a look at some individual stocks that I think are worthwhile taking note of. Here we had Tesla that worked into a downtrend on the weekly. It broke through this upward sloping trend line, which by the way is just one particular detail. It's not a conclusive detail. You can see the price has come back into these old highs, produced bullish candles, and is now attempting to move a little bit higher. In fact, what was interesting is it does appear to be forming. This is a very messy, but still qualifies as an upside down head and shoulders. Here's the left shoulder, the head, and the right shoulder. So what does that mean? It means that it is certainly going to attempt to work its way up to the upside. So just taking note of that, once you start to break above that 228 level, the probability is increased that the market is going to attempt to move a little bit higher. This doesn't give us clues as to what the longer term value of it is. It just tells us what the shorter term intentions are. Let's have a look at NVIDIA. So NVIDIA, in my earlier videos or in recent analysis, I was saying it was very overextended and due for a correction. I would point out now, though, that it has appears to have worked off, taken a bit of a breather, a little bit of a head and shoulders that formed here that failed to break out, and it's now pushing back up against these old highs. So right now, it appears as though NVIDIA is trying to escape the monthly range that is stuck within these candles over here. If I just adjust the shape a little bit here so that you can see this range. There we go. It's these candles over here. It's attempting to break out of that. There's not enough evidence to show that it is going to succeed either way. The point is I'm observing that if it does manage to break out to the upside, it might appear as though NVIDIA is ready to keep going to the upside. Then if we have a look, for example, at Amazon, you can see here that Amazon is now back at a level of resistance, attempting to continue and work its way up from here. And again, we've got the 50, 20, and 10 in a bullish formation. And for the most part, this looks more bullish than bearish. And then finally on the watch list for today is Bitcoin. So you can see Bitcoin, very strong breakout. If we look at it from a daily perspective, it has pulled back. We've got the 50, the 20, and the 10. And it is currently printing a small bullish candle. The day isn't over yet, but we can see that its intention here is to potentially continue to the upside. So what does this mean? Well, overall, what we can see here is a lot of bullishness in several, or in fact, in almost every single asset class, with the exception of, with the exception of crude oil. And the implication here is that we have a weaker dollar, but we also have strength in some of the other elements. We have a strong euro, a strong pound, Gold, we're going to have to wait and see a little bit, but the indices also individually look nice and strong. So despite what we might hear in the media, which might appear to be more pessimistic and often glass is half empty, it would seem as though there are quite a few bulls swimming around in the markets and we're going to have to see how this week ultimately closes. That's all from me. Thank you very much. Trade safely. Remember to manage your risk appropriately and have a great week.